Genesis chapter 17, verse 18. Abraham prayed a prayer that I want us to pray this morning uh, during my intercessory prayer period. Abraham prayed in Genesis chapter 17, verse 18. He said unto God, he says, Oh, that Ishmael, Lord, shall live before you. And this is our focus on the family series. And I know as many of us have our children on our minds, uh, those who are outside the ark of safety, and even if they are in the ark of safety. And we need to pray the prayer that Abraham prayed over his child, oh, that Ishmael would live before you. This morning, you need to put your child's name in the place of Ishmael. He said, oh, that Jerry, or Bob, Bill, Sal, or Jill will live before you, God. And beloved brothers and sisters, I am assured that God hears the prayers of the righteous. The Bible says the prayers of the righteous are much. It's much energy. Amen. And I want you to keep on praying for your children. Many times the Lord prolongs certain things because he's trying to develop us for love. He's trying to develop our faith walk in him. Amen. And sometimes God will allow your child to stay out there for a little while so that you can keep on praying. And so that you can keep on depending on him. Amen. But the Bible says do not get weary and well doing for you will reap if you faint not. And so this morning, I want us to have as our prayer focus, not ourselves this morning, but our children. We want our children to be saved in God's kingdom. Do I witness in this place this morning? Amen? We don't want to be in glory and our children are burning in hell. And wouldn't it be a frightening, terrifying, heart-rending experience? To look through those transparent walls and you're on the inside and they're on the outside. Or wouldn't it be a heart-rending experience where they are on the inside but you as a parent that raised them up in the admonition of the Lord is on the outside. And beloved brothers and sisters, my Bible tells me that when I pray for my children, the Bible says that the Lord will save them from the land of the enemy. He will bring them back. Amen. So this morning, I want to invite you to the altar. You've got a child on your heart. Maybe somebody that you have raised. And you've got their burdens, their salvation on your heart. I want to invite you to come to this altar this morning to present that child in prayer. You've raised them up. That's the only thing God requires of you to do. But I, I, I've come to the realization that God said that I knew you before you were born. So if God knew them before they was born, he knows how to save them. He knows how to reach them. Even when you as a parent don't know how to reach them. But I know that if I leave it to God, if I submit it to God, God has it. And he can hold what I cannot hold. Amen. He can take care of what I cannot take care of. And so therefore I don't need to worry about what I cannot fix because God can fix it. Amen. Do you believe that this morning? That God can fix anything, any problem, anybody. Amen. And some of you in this house of worship this morning, you're worried. You're overly concerned about life. When the Bible says don't worry about tomorrow, let tomorrow take care of itself. But Jesus told us to seek first the kingdom of God. Not money, not jobs, not friends, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things will be added unto you. I want to pray for your children this morning. I want to pray for that niece, that nephew that's on your heart. I want to pray for you this morning. And if you can't make it to this altar, but you say, Pastor, could you please lift me and my family up in prayer? I want you to raise your hand and stand. Up. 
why don't you just sing that song in your heart as the choir is singing it out loud. Pray, Lord. Come by here. Someone needs you, Lord. Come by here. Oh, Lord. Come by here. Father, I'm so thankful this morning that you are visiting, but not only visiting, Lord God, you have stopped in here this morning and you've taken up permanent residence in this place. I'm so thankful, Lord God, this morning for another sound. Thankful for another day of life, able to breathe, able to walk, able to see, able to feel, able to hear. Lord, I'm so thankful, Lord, and we're so thankful for a reasonable portion of health and strength. May not have what we want, but Lord, we've got what we need, and Lord, we want to say thank you this morning. Father, we rebuke the spirit of stagnancy in this place this morning. There's a stagnant spirit in here this morning, Lord. Whatever reason it may be, I don't know if it's what the week has thrown at us, Lord God, or what's on our mind, but Father, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke it right now. Yes. Oh, Father God, we come against it right now. Yes. Father, if we've got anything on our mind except you, I pray, Lord God, that you would come against it right now. Yes. Father, if we've got a bad attitude, we come and put against that right now. Yes. Father, if we're thinking about our bills, Lord God, and things not going our way, or we're plotting politically, Lord, we this morning. First of all, Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord, for delivering us, Lord. Father, I thank you for George this morning. Lord was able to walk in his room last night, Lord, and as he was lifting up prayers, he could not breathe, but Lord, the next breath, Lord, was a smooth breath. And Father, I want to thank you for hearing and answering prayers. Thank you for keeping your hand upon him. Thank you, Lord God, for surrounding him, Lord God. Thank you for propping him up on every leading side. Jesus. I want to thank you for healing Sister Stackhouse, Lord. Allow her to walk up in here this morning. Thank you for Sister Jenkins and Sister Roberts and Brother Jackson, Lord God, and the Freeman family and all of our seniors this morning. We want to say thank you. Father, for some of us, we came up the rough side of the mountain this week. We traversed in some valleys this week, but Lord, the valley is over, Lord God. And we've got a right to praise you this morning. We've got you are. Father, permeate this place today. Kill spiritual germs in here today. Father, we've come to this altar with a variety of burdens. We're praying for Ishmael. That Ishmael in our family that's rebellious. That Ishmael in our family that's out in the far country of sin. We're praying for that granddaughter, that grandson, that son, that daughter, that nephew that niece, Lord God, we're praying this morning that you would bring them back to the fold a 
again. And Father, sometimes we stop praying because we get so weary. But Lord, let us keep on praying, Father. Father, touch every soul in here that's, that prayers are raising up to heaven. And Father, have your way in this place today. Walk up and down these aisles, visit every person in these pews. Have a deep personal encounter with us today. And Father, we will be careful to give you all the praise and all the glory that's due to your matchless name. For us in the sweet name of Jesus, let every blood-bought believer shout out amen. Amen. amen.